Hey, how's it going guys? I know, it's been a minute since I've uploaded on this channel. YouTube is way stupider. I hate how everything's changed. I can't see dislikes or likes in a fair manner. Now I can't tell if, uh, if I upload a video and it sucks. Well, screw you YouTube. Anyways, I want to show you guys something that I've been having an issue with. If anyone ever has a Valve Index, um, there is a lot of issues with the USB ports. You plug it into the, you plug it into the back of the computer, sure. Put it in the front, whatever. The USB, and then the graphics, um, the graphics card plug-in. I forget what it's called. I think it's a, a Display Port. Yeah, it's called Display Port. You put, you plug that straight into the, into, the graphics card in the back of the computer. So, a lot is going on when you hook this up and everything, and it, and it works wonderful. It's probably one of the best VR headsets I've bought since I don't know. I mean, it's way better than the headset in the PlayStation VR. Adjustable and everything, better speakers and all that. Anyways, not to get into that, but it's been crashing a lot. And to say that it's crashing, it means that um, it the display doesn't want to display or it disconnects everything right here. Everything disconnects. The the keyboard, the mouse, the, fu the fucking speakers, everything just disconnects. I have like a super good computer, 2060 RTX. Uh, it it runs everything. It just has an issue with a with with a power. No matter what I do, it just doesn't want to display it properly. So, what we ended up doing, I have okay. These are trackers that I'm using, but never mind that. So, I try to isolate most of the USB usage with this separating all the power for the trackers and then the card readers on the side. So I'm isolating all that. That wasn't enough. I had to get a plug in a USB um, what is it, uh, outlet just to separate all the USB usage right here. That wasn't enough. So after a while I was like, well, what the fuck do I do now? And my wife's friend said something about isolating the USB for the actual power to the headset. Like, well, oh, shit, that actually might work. So I uh, go right back here, okay? And right here is where the issue was resolved so i bought a usb hub just for the heads just for the headset alone don't plug anything else into it just plug it into this hub here and you can turn it on and off whenever you want so just like that and it powers it on and then when you're not using it just power it off that's it that's all you needed it solved the issue right away it's not hogging all the power in the back it has its own little dis um it has its own uh, uh, power like hub right here. That that stopped it from crashing so much. So anyone out there that has a Valve Index, get it. Get a USB hub just for the Index. Plug it in anywhere you need it to. Just plug it into its own hub, and there you go. That's that'll resolve everything. It's not going to give you any more issues after that. And well, of course, make sure that you're not using it for anything else, but but just that. Okay, you plug it in like a little mouse or or uh, I don't know, a flash drive, it'll crash it right away. It's so stupid. I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, oh yeah, here's the docks. Yeah, two of those, two of those up there. Yeah, nice. Anyways, guys, thanks for subscribing. Um, 800 subscribers, actually pretty amazing. I mean, I don't know. I'll uh, see you more often.